Since relaunching his career in mainland China in the late 2010s, the star of the Hong Kong cinema of the 80s Chin Shuo has starred in several franchises, the most popular being the two-part detective story The Great Illusionist. The same director and production team made The Great Magician, a film set in the early years of the Republic of China. It's weird how Chin Shuo's characters in The Great Magician and The Great Illusionist 2 share the same name, although they have absolutely nothing in common. The Great Magician follows Zhuo Feifan, a young pupil of the great magician named Kong Kong. The duo uses their skills to trick rich people. One day, Kong Kong gets a visit from another magician by the name of Pei Jingji. Back in the day, Pei Jingji used to head one of the five illusion sects. At some point, he decided to unite the sects and started to seize their amulet stones. If you collect all the stones and insert them into a magical meteorite scepter, you'll gain unearthly power. Kong Kong was among those who managed to disrupt Pei Jingji's malicious plans. But now Pei is free again, and he's determined to finish what he started. Fei Fan flees to the fire sect, where the scepter is kept. It won't be long before Pei comes here to retrieve the precious artifact. There's no time to lose. Fei Fan starts his training in order to stop the enemy. While the two installments of The Great Illusionist were telling a retro detective story with paranormal elements, The Great Magician lies on the other side of the spectrum. It's a pretty straightforward fantasy action film in the vein of Marvel's Doctor Strange, or Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. It's a ubiquitous story of a young man that goes through rigorous training before facing a powerful enemy and defeating him not so much with physical strength, as with masterful skills and cunning. As it is often the case with fantasy movies set in those days, filmmakers have to shed light on their characters' supernatural powers by saying that those are just tricks. For example, to make fire, you need to cover your hands with oil and a special fire-resistant substance, and then snap your fingers. That creates friction, which, in turn, produces a flame. It goes without saying that the great magician can't hold a candle to any Marvel piece. If you dissect the Chinese film from production perspective, you'll discover a bunch of flaws. For example, the movie has few locations and big scenes with extras. Chin Shuo, who dominates the poster, plays a sideline character in the movie. As for the budding actor Su Hao, who portrays Chua Fei Fan, he's not on the poster altogether. These are small tricks invented by producers to secure the audience's attention. Were those tricks necessary? Well, that's a difficult one. On the one side, The Great Magician is a good fantasy action film, with a well-told story and a couple of gripping scenes. On the other hand, it follows overused patterns, including the mandatory rule to make the first action seem the most spectacular one. Following an energetic start, The Great Magician has hardly anything to offer in the course of the next hour. It's dragging towards the finale, tired and disoriented.